Hi there, my name is Claire and I'm a rental officer for a vehicle rental company. In our company, we use Anata Dynamics IDMS, a powerful management solution which is built as an add-on to Microsoft Dynamics AX and is specifically designed to support the automotive, equipment, rental, and fleet industries. Anata Dynamics IDMS is used to cover industry-specific needs throughout the entire life cycle of a product, all within one solution. Before we look at the functionality of Anata Dynamics IDMS, I want to show you my role center. I use the role center as my dashboard, as this gives me access to the parts of the system that I need as part of my day-to-day -day work. The queues at the top of the role center give me direct access to the forms that show me what is happening in my part of the business. As an example, I can see the number of inspections that are live on the system. The reports also help me to track what is happening in my business. Right at the bottom of the role center, the alert section highlights the most urgent tasks that I need to act on immediately. Inspections are used to check if the device meets certain criteria regarding maintenance or company standards. This is obviously important with regards to the safe operation of the vehicle or equipment, as well as giving my customers a good impression of our company. We use inspections either before a vehicle or equipment goes out on rental or when it returns from a rental contract. In this example, I am raising an inspection directly from the vehicle as it may be that a problem has been spotted and a full check is needed. To start the process, I simply click on the Create Inspection icon. When an inspection is created, it is also important to use this as an opportunity to record the usage of the vehicle. Having an up-to-date usage reading is crucial to making sure that the piece of equipment is maintained correctly, according to the maintenance schedule laid down by the manufacturer. The inspection group describes the type of inspection that is being created. This helps me to produce reports that analyze the types of inspections that we are doing. As we saw earlier, it is possible to create queues on the role center that could provide information so that I can see how many inspections are open against each inspection type. Assigning a person to carry out the inspection is also important. This means that if there is a problem, I can go back to the person who did the inspection in the first place. Different pieces of equipment or vehicles will need to have different criteria for what needs to be checked during the inspection. The inspection criteria may change, so it is important that me and my colleagues use the latest list that is shown when an inspection is due. It is possible for an inspection document to be printed so that I can carry out the inspection while I'm walking around the vehicle. My manager tells me that in the near future, I will be able to carry out an inspection using a tablet computer. Against each of the inspection points, it is possible to set certain measures. These measures could be as simple as, is it working or is it broken? Basically a yes or no question. Or you may want to record how full something is. In the example here, I am looking at the coolant level. Our company standard is that if the coolant is half full or more, then it passes. But if the coolant is only a quarter full or less, then it will fail the inspection so that the coolant would need to be refilled before this vehicle can go out on rental again. In this example, I have indicated that the coolant is full, so this inspection criterion has passed. On some other criteria, it may be necessary to check for damages on the vehicle or piece of equipment. In this example, I have marked on a diagram representing the vehicle that there is some damage on the front. I can also hold a description of this damage, whether it is a dent or a scratch, or perhaps something even more serious on the system. If the damage is relatively minor, the vehicle would pass this inspection criteria, but at least the damage has been recorded and could be reviewed in the future. If any inspection criterion has failed, then by clicking on the Report Faults icon, these failures can be recorded. I am also able to record the severity of the fault. This is important as it will be easier to rectify a low severity fault than it is to sort out a higher severity fault. There might be an urgent need to find a device for a rental. It is also possible for me to change the security level. This changes the icon visible on the fault screen. This icon is also visible against the device record as well, which helps me to decide which vehicle to prepare to go out on a rental contract. It may be possible to fix the fault by following a few simple steps, so we can post it as having been repaired on site. For other faults, it may be necessary to fix them using a workshop case. Inspection faults are visible from the rental device list page. The quality of the vehicle or equipment is crucial to the reputation of our business, as we have already discussed, and because of that, although it is possible to allocate a rental device to an order, 
even if it has a fault identified, it will not be possible for me to activate a rental until the fault has been repaired. The history of faults against a device can be seen if I click on the condition icon. This could be particularly important if there was a problem with the device when it was out on rental, and we need to carry out an investigation. And this is an example on how we use Anata Dynamics IDMS to cover our rental management needs. You can now take a look at how other companies are using IDMS by checking the next videos. Thanks for watching.